Alright, hey everyone, Wonderbot here, and welcome to As Far As The Eye. It is a... It's like a town builder roguelike. It's really weird. Hi. Select a chapter. Huh. This feels like more of a tutorial than anything else. I'm just gonna hit play. We'll see what happens. Okay, so West Tribe, South Tribe, East Tribe, North Tribe. Well, do we want to go? Three random positive, three random negative, four positive, four negative. People start with a random level three trade. High vagary intensity. Three puny. Oh, this is, I don't even know. Okay, originating from the region in the west of the eye, guiding one of these tribes is a calm adventure. The Westians are compassionate, ascetic, and gentle. They bend to the will of the Psy and are happy to adopt all forms. Working in all trades, the region is diverse from, and their path or is diverse in their path to the eye. Although strewn with pitfalls, is the most lenient of all. They start from a large and balanced area, which allows them to stock up on food before continuing their journey. An ancient land of sedentary populations, the West is dotted with extraordinary places to explore, ruins, and sacred sites. Welcome to As Far As The Eye. You've activated the basic tutorial. You can deactivate it in the options menu. If you never played the game, I would suggest you play the campaign. Not a game of speed, but of optimization. Take your time. Each trip is different and includes several halts. With this map, you can anticipate the cost of journeys that allow the tribe to reach the next halt. Hovering, over the mouse, hovering the mouse over a dotted trip lets you know the cost of the trip to a new stage of the trip. Warning, you can only see the details of the trips closest to the tribe's current location. You get a glimpse of the next halt, what it has in store for your tribe when you hover over it. You can only see the details of the halts closest to your tribe's current location. Big Beast is the first halt where your caravan starts its journey. Click on the first halt. The water rises. The wave is on its way. The tribe must leave. Each halt includes a limited number of turns. You must complete your ob objective and depart from the halt before the water reaches your campsite. Here's the tribe's caravan. It's a game unit. You can select it by clicking on it or its icon. Selecting anything in the game opens up what we call the selection menu. Okay, move the camera, zoom, turn the camera. I wonder if it's, if it's choppier. I wonder if I can, I might be able to make this smoother. Okay. Oh, that's better. That's a lot better. Oh, it, it is full 3D, I think. At least the beast is. I think the birds are 2D. Very pretty, though. I like this. Okay, find a resource. Click. A left click on resources the inventory. No map. No selected goal. Click on the map and get a dotted trip to select your goal. Okay, it wants me to click on this. You can plan a move action on your caravan by selecting it and right clicking on a hexagon. Units have a limited number of movement points that you can check in the selection window. Okay, so I got two movement points. Mountain. Cannot move to this terrain. Fog costs no resources, but costs three movement points. Jungle has wood, nothing else. Okay. So moving the camera, we know about those. I know about that. Okay, so I've got a little bit of movement points. Not too much to work with. Gompo! No trade, nothing to do. So we, do we go into the... Yeah, can I go in there? We also have a hill. What is this thing? Aura protective. Aura has a protective influence on fish. This resource cannot be harvested. Pupils who harvest other resources in the area are 50% less efficient. Select the aura to know its range. Send a pupil to calm the aura and render its influence positive on fish. Okay, so this is the aura. Protective. Unlock selection window. Okay. How do I send a pupil? This is in the tribe. Well, it just wanted me to go here. So let's go. Let's go for the bird things. I think. Is there anything else I can see? Unexplored. Or is this unexplorable? Maybe it is. I don't know. I don't know where I'm going. We'll find out. Oh. To start managing your tribe, you must install your caravan. Click left-click on the caravan installation button in the selection window. 
Note, a caravan can only be installed on a plane or a forest. Hover over the hexagon to determine what type of site it is. Can't settle on this type of train. Okay. Hello. Yeah, do I want to install more centrally? Is the real question. How much? I got one more. Okay, can't do that. Do I want to just... You know what? Let's just settle here. We'll figure it out. These characters are the pupils. They're the ones who gather resources, construct buildings, and produce food and explore. Each pupil is a game unit that you can select by clicking on their body or on their balloon. And put in action with right click. Okay. So you... Soothe the aura. Go to. Soothe it. You... Okay. No building available to gather this resource. Note that only a limited number of people work in, work in the same building. Let's have that one go for wood. Okay. To build buildings, harvest resources. So we got to harvest some wood. Okay. Becoming a gatherer, going to work, nothing to do. No building available, no building available. No building available. Okay, can't do too much. Let's have him explore. We'll see what happens. Okay. So he is gathering. This one has nothing to do. So let's just end turn and look around a little bit. Mountain. Still no buildings. So this is where the caravan is. What do we got? Open knowledge tree. Seduction. Oh boy. I good to know. I think they'll... I'll just leave this alone for a second. So what can I... No, nope, that's the overall map. This is interesting. A lot of this that I probably should have learned in the campaign mode, but... Tutorials tend to be really frustrating for me, so it's more, more fun to just kind of play it by ear and figure it out. Plus... What the hell? Okay. So, D moves us right. A... Rotates the camera. S zooms in. What the hell? Okay. Some of these controls are going to be a little wacky. Take this guy. Let's keep wandering around. Live up to my name. How long until we get wood? Returning resources. Okay. Sea trades. Build. Okay. Let's actually, let's go back to this guy. Let's have him come back. Chances are we're going to waste a lot of time. Okay. So Uri, Uri gathered some wood. This is fine. So that's, oh gosh. Yeah, whatever the, con wait. Oh, I understand. No, what the hell? So this is Q. This is E. This is A. This is D. It's like the reverse. Yeah, Q and D do what A and D should be, and A and E do what Q and E do. Huh. That's really weird. Can I go into the settings? Can I change that? Inputs. Coming soon. Ah! <laughs> what kind of... You know what? It's probably like an Azerty keyboard thing. I, I'm probably just getting bamboozled as a result of that. Well, luckily I can just use my, my mouse. To navigate everything at odd control schemes throwing me off super hard. Alright. Let's see. So let's grab this guy. He's coming back. Who's doing nothing? He's going to work. He is soothing. Yeah, so let's let's just kill time. Bowel. Build. So we can get a sawmill. Ah. They will start harvesting wood. Sawmill is the only way for a woodcutter to earn EXP.
I wonder if there's a difference. Oh, you can see the perks. Self-taught. Gains more EXP per harvest. Elitist. Cannot harvest from the caravan. When they're doing nothing, pupil does not consume food. Cannot go across mountains. Okay, it doesn't consume food. Less EXP for harvest. Okay. So what, do we, what else do we got? We got a quarry. We got a mine. We've got a pasture. Harvest hut. Hunting lodge. Fishery. Farm. Cookhouse. Bakery. Dispensary. These are some things. Camp. Workshop. Oh. Appendix allowing new upgrades on all buildings. Workshop upgrades are only active if the workshop is deployed. Increase the proximity bonus of all buildings. Market allows resource trading. Can only trade one per turn. Appendix allowing you to spend knowledge points to unlock bonuses related to vagaries and travel. Cool. So let's go back to this. We're right next to... Oh, but we need wood. Oh. What are the differences? Oh, permanent. Cannot be transported when leaving this hall. Mobile. Can be moved and transported when leaving for the next halt. So, more iron and wood lets me bring it... Uh, iron and wool lets me bring it with. Okay. So, in that case... I'm gonna get this. Okay, he's becoming a builder. Gathering. Oh, cancel. There's nothing to do. You have nothing to do. Ah, soothed. Okay, well, I don't have a whole lot of anything. So let's gather some more wood. So is this the water? Probably. 190 turns before the halt is flooded. Oh. Okay, what resources are here? We also have the plane. We have a number of different things. Okay. So I guess, realistically, I get to spend a lot of time. I just like to go click on the map, set your goal. No. Select a pupil, right-click on the new building, choose the resources, start harvesting it. Complete your objective to proceed to the next halt. Each turn, e each turn, each pupil consumes six rations. When there are no more rations, the pupils consume pepkins. When there are no more food, they fall ill, and then get called by the Psy and disappear. To proceed... To produce rations, you can build production buildings like a cookhouse or a bakery. These use wood and harvested resources resources such as game, cereals, or fish. Alright. So, bowel... Sawmill... Wood. Okay, so he's going to do that. What are you doing? You're going to work. And you, returning resources. Okay, so hopefully the sawmill... Tier 1, we'll start harvesting wood. So what else can we do? Extra 20% yield, upgrade, or... Ooh, some of those are kind of fun. Okay, going to work, gathering. How much... I've got wood. What else can I make? Can I make a quarry? No. Mill, mill, some things. What else do we have? Harvest hut. So this will get me, uh, pepkins. Hunting Lodge is a little bit more expensive. Do I want to just kill time for a little bit, just gather a silly amount of wood? That seems reasonable, at least for now. I'm liking the music, I'm loving the visuals. Okay, to know your goals, open the map and click a direction on one of the paths you want to take. You can change your mind as much as you want. Okay. So, small rainforest halts. Or fertile lands halt. So, this one's cheaper. This one requires stone, wood, and metal. I'm going to go for the stone, wood, and metal one. Okay, your goal... The goal you aim for in order to leave this halt appears here. You can choose the goal... Among the dotted trips that go directly from the current location of the caravan. Alright, let's close that. Finding metal might be hard. So we might not have a choice here. 
It might be more over this direction, though, so I, I will have to double check. It looks like they are gaining EXP. Alright. You're going to work. Instead, let's go here. Let's build a quarry. Yeah, I could do any of these. Oh, is this a metal quarry? It is. Okay, so in that case, I'm going to put it over here where there's no resources. And let's grab this guy. He's gathering. Let's see. For a number of these, it's just metal, wool, yeah, and sometimes stone. So what we might want to do... is gather a bunch of kind of miscellaneous resources. And go for kind of the permanent version, currently. And then eventually what I'd like to do is just get a bunch of mobile versions that I can spam down and not waste resources when we get to a new, new area. Hopefully this will work out the way I want. At some point I'll take Sawmill Dude and actually have him bail. Oh, cancel. Who has... Okay, he's returning resources. He has nothing to do. Quarry. Oh, that's... That's the quarry as opposed to the mine. Okay. And you're building. So if I had one more person, this would actually be quite lovely. But is what it is. Okay, so wool or pack animal. Interesting. Let's go for the wool. Okay, let's just let resources go. At least for now. I think this is working. I'm a little worried... Oh. Yeah. Yeah, so we have to soothe this occasionally. Oh, is it soothed? I think I think it is just auto soothed. Okay, so it doesn't take nearly as long. You absolute bucket. Okay, so it's going to take four rounds to properly solve it here. Okay, how are we doing on resources? Okay, so let's keep working wood. So we're getting stone. We're going to need metal. Oh, interesting. Wood cell is depleted. That's actually not so bad. Okay, how do I see... Best Gatherer of the Tribe? Let's take a look at Bowel. Oh! So... He's actually leveling up. It's interesting that there's only three perks. Are these like the evolved versions of him? Woodcutter? Okay. Oh, gatherer, herbalist, builder, stone gatherer, grower, trapper, and cook. So these are the different skill trees. So that'll get extra wood and pepkins. That'll get extra knowledge. Reduces food consumption. And then we actually get to decide as we go up this. So woodcutter require, uh, harvest wood via sawmill. And fruit via harvest hut. Interesting. And useful. I'm probably going to lose this, like, miserably. But I I love what I'm seeing, and I, I can't wait to actually master this. I think I've got a decent idea of how this is 
supposed to work anyway. So I'm just going to let this keep going for a little while. We have how long? We got 159 turns, which gives me a while. Let's see. Can I see how much? 155. Yeah, so we're harvesting a fair bit. Oh, okay, you're done. So we got a mountain with no resources. They're returning resources. They're going to work. Oh, another caravan stopping by. You can send a people to meet with them. Exchange resources, favors, or advice. Sign a people that you'd like to... Okay. Hey, Bowel. Go meet them. Go see hi. Okay. They offer a trade. So, hi. Oh. Okay, so we... We can trade stone for metal. Not bad. Hoagie wants to join you. And would give me a trapper, which is good. We need food. Or your tribe asks the caravan for help and suggests they do a part of the trip with you. Reducing the next travel cost by a quarter. Let's go for another one. New pupil has joined your tribe. However, they can only start working once they have an accommodation. Build a camp appendix in the appendix tab of the build menu with a pupil or improve your caravan to welcome your extra pupil. Pupil without accommodation cannot work. But they can explore the map, visit remains and sacred sites, and meet with other caravans. Okay, so Hoagie can't do anything currently. Let's go to the caravan. Set hex, open knowledge tree. I don't have any knowledge yet. We are starting to run out of food. Okay, bow. What can we do? Heal. Go to... Okay, build pasture. We want annex, camp. We need one pack animal. Ooh. Start grabbing pack animals. Because we got plenty of we got plenty of cotton. At least for a little while. I don't know how many pack animals we can grab out of that, but still useful. Alright, so that will yeah. What else can I work on? Harvest hut for pepkins, which we don't have much of. That's pretty cheap. And we can bring this one with us. Okay, so I'm going to have him working on the harvest hut. Might as well grab a bunch of pepkins while we're here. Yeah, these guys are going to start getting kind of hungry. Oh, pack animal. Oh, it's grabbing this thing. What's this? Oh, cereals. Can I determine the path? Okay, cool. Is any everybody else good? Okay, you are building... This is kind of working. They're returning resources. Okay, you're done. You go back to soothing. Ogi, you keep going around. Let's see, one with no task. He's going to work. He's gathering. He's moving. He's going to work. Okay, I think we're good. I think this this guy's the main one. Hello, remains. Explore these remains to discover a positive or negative random effect by selecting a pupil, then right-clicking the remains. Send an herbalist to analyze the remains to figure out the effects by doing the same. Send a druid too to make negative effects positive. Oh. I'd have to figure out how to get a druid, but that might be worth it. All right, but first, ah, explore. Luckily, he can still do that. Okay, pack animal cell is depleted. Kill's done. 
and wood is done. Rain is here. Every turn, the rain causes the lake or bog to flood. Plains near the lakes and bogs can't be flooded, and bogs near lakes can become lakes. Pupils are slower. Hoagie's... Hoagie quickly works out as they enter a circular room covered by luminescent blue symbols. That is a ritual altar. Oh, Hoagie quickly works out as they enter a room... Okay, that it's a ritual altar. Hoagie doesn't really know what it does, but curiosity, le curiosity leads them on. Gosh, I cannot read today. And they kneel at the large stone and concentrate. The halt's major vagary starts immediately. Uh, oh. So the rain. Well, I don't know how to get a druid. Okay. This isn't really that big of a deal, but it is an inconvenience. Oh, there's a bog with some water. Uh, let's see. Who else is working? You're returning resources. You're soothing. Where's the last one? Oh, here. Returning resources. Oh, coming back with the pack animal. Well, I don't they're just being held aloft by a giant balloon. That's very metal gear in kind of an amusing manner. Okay. So who, who is... You have nothing to do. Go get some pepkins. You're ill. You have nothing to do. You already got the pack animal. I guess... Let's keep gathering wool. And this one's still going to work. How much does this hill still have? Decent amounts. What is this guy? Can you actually come back here? Can you build? Ah, pupils without housing cannot work. Okay. Let's see. So we're going to gather. Should be fine. Okay, you've gathered. So we want to go... We want to build... Camp. Oh, and it has to come with. Plain, cost of cereals, cost of some plants. We don't have any other space. Next time, keep in mind, gotta settle in a place with a lot more room. I'm gonna just dump that one. Let's see, maybe? Where else can I put the camp? I think it has to be adjacent. this stuff. Spices? Spices are not something I can make anytime soon. So we're just going to work on that, and that'll give me some more space. Means, nope, housing, housing isn't done yet. Okay, wood cell is depleted. Question. Let's go back into this. How do we get a druid? Druid. So we have Hoagie, who is very much a trapper. Hmm. I like these perks. Some of them are pretty fun. So we might actually want to get an herbalist and a druid. We have a trapper, though. Because champoos are minor. Ural is currently our... Oh. We'll get cereals. Yeah. 
Well, he still can't do any. Oh, he's not doing anything. Shoot. So for now, we can build stuff. Okay, so we want to get a dispensary. And Shampoo has nothing to do. Build, you are currently our miner. Mine. Actual mine. I'm going to put it there. But there's nothing else. And what do we have him do for the time being? And I guess I could have him work on the mine, but no, our quarry, our quarry man really should do quarry stuff. Let's have him come back and work the uh, sawmill for the time being. Unfortunately, we're a little on the slow side. What are you doing? Oh, returning resources. Okay. I, I love the fact that there's this... It's not an expansive talent tree. Oh. Uh, select. You don't have anything to do. Sorry. Start getting ore. Oh, is this the in inactive pupil button? Well, that works. My one fear... Uh... Hmm. Owl. Oh, okay. gee. Build... What do we... What do we need? A dispensary? We need wood. Because yeah, in retrospect, this rain is gonna dry is gonna ruin us. Cause we're gonna be here and it's gonna be raining for far too long. Oh, soothing, this is a druid thing. Okay, so we need wood again. We're getting... Oh, we're almost out of food. Oh, no. I think... I think, now that I understand this game so much better, I think I could do this better. I think right now, I'm probably doomed. This rain is going to ruin me. Even even if we have 116 turns before the halt is flooded, maybe I can come back from this, but I think I will have a better time if I start over entirely. That said, this was a fun learning experience, and I know, I know people absolutely hate it when I learn by doing, and it's like, no, just do the tutorial and you'll be perfect. But at the same time, this is fun. Thrill of Discovery is cool. And this game is great. I can't wait to play more. I honestly can't, and I can't wait to do it right this time around. Because honestly, like they said at the very beginning, this is not a fast game. This is a game about optimization. And it shows. And I love it. So, uh, as far as the eye is, is either out or it's out in like a day or two. Let me double check. It is out on September 10th. Hey, that's my birthday. So we've got a day before this comes out. I'll be putting this out the day beforehand. And I'm definitely going to play more. I can't wait to play more of this. Just just to see what I can do. And just to see how far I can get. But this time, I'm not going to be a dum-dum. I'm going to make sure to get a, an herbalist right from the get-go. So I can abuse those, those shrines. Or, better yet, I just ignore the shrine. Don't worry about the, the negative effects. Leave it alone. Probably still get a druid anyway, now that I'm thinking about it, because this way... I, I think the vagary happens no matter what, and then you have to go find the shrine. I just foolishly triggered it like a moron. I don't know. Anyway, so, with all that said, if you guys like this episode in any way, shape, or form, leave me a like, helps more than you know, and if you want to see more as far as the eye, hit subscribe, because I'm going to I'm gonna do at least one full run of this game, uh, which is probably going to be the depth and breadth of most of this content. Uh, but we'll see. Maybe it's one of those that I get a lot faster as I figure it out, and then we can actually start really banging out some runs. But until then, thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you next time.